Mental health can be called emotional health or well-being. We all have mental health and it needs looking after just like physical health. One in four people experience a mental health problem every year. Most people with rare diseases, families and carers feel worried, anxious, stressed or low. This is because there are many ways that rare diseases can impact mental health. Some patients might experience long delays before getting the correct diagnosis, which can have a large negative effect on people's mental health. In addition, it can be difficult to separate physical from mental health, especially in rare diseases. This can lead to patients being wrongly diagnosed with a mental health problem, rather than their rare disease symptoms being taken seriously. Having a rare disease can also be very isolating. Rare diseases can impact the whole family, not just the patients they directly affect. Arranging their own care can cause stress. Parents of children with rare diseases may need to do a lot of the caring themselves, making them unable to work and socialise fully and causing them to feel lonely. Parents may also worry a lot about their child's future. It can also be very difficult for siblings to see their brother or sister experiencing difficult symptoms or spending time in hospital. It is important to remember that people express mental ill health in different ways. Some people might have panic attacks and others might become quiet and withdrawn and stop participating in the community. Be aware of the different ways that those you interact with might be affected by poor mental health and remember that all mental health problems should be taken seriously even if symptoms don't seem obvious. Active listening is a very important skill for identifying mental health issues. It is also important to be open when discussing mental health to make sure people who are struggling feel listened to and accepted. Patients and their families might forget to look after their mental health as they can be too busy worrying about health care and treatment for their physical symptoms. That's why it's essential for patients, families and carers to make sure they understand mental health issues and know what resources are available to help. It is highly recommended that patient group leaders complete the Supporting Mental Health short course so that you feel better equipped to deal with some of the mental health challenges that people around you may face. Visit our online resources hub to find out more and take the course. Remember, if someone needs urgent help, they can contact their GP for an urgent appointment, call the Samaritans on 116 123, call their local NHS Urgent Mental Health Helpline or call 111 to get advice from the NHS.